Right, just a really quick rundown on the version control tool thing. So, this is it, script-wise. If I zoom in, we there we go. I'll just delete that. Um, what I'm going to do is just source the script itself, which will be in Maya 2008 scripts, and I called it TSVC system. So now it's sourced, I've got this little menu up here. Now, if I immediately open version control, it's not going to let me. It says file needs to be saved for version control to work. OK, then. OK, so let's create a cube and let's save the file. So we'll just say file save scene as. I'm actually in a project here, but I'll call it. In fact, I'll overwrite this test. <coughs> Tests are there to be overwritten. So anyway, let's open it up. But there we go. Test actually had versions in it. <laughs> Lovely. So let's just imagine that it didn't. So anyway, the interface. Yes, this is the interface. I'm going to replace this logo thing. Uh, but we've got buttons. We've got save version, get version, refresh, delete, advanced. I'll go through these once we've got a version of this thing. So I'll press save version now. It's going to ask for a comment or a label. Well, I'm going to enter start. OK, um, then I'll close this and we'll just do something to it. So what should we do? Uh, we shall smooth it. Uh, then we'll get every... Uh, we'll actually turn keep faces together off and um, go get all the faces and extrude them. Uh, go to our extrude and say that we don't actually want crap loads of divisions on. Uh, so poly extrude, go down, division 6, no. Well, in fact, we could have one on there. Um, then we'll just stay with this and we'll say smooth it again. And again. So, I don't know, it's looking like some weird thing at the moment, but let's bring up version control again and save a version, and this time we'll call it weird. Because it is incredibly weird. Now notice that I'm still in the test scene. It's still called test. So let's smooth it again. Uh, let's say mesh, smooth, G to smooth it again. There we go. We'll say, hey, it's looking better, but this time I shall just pull one of these things out a little bit, and I'll pull this side out a little bit. And there we say, right, now that is the dogs. So we'll bring up version control, and we'll add another version, and we'll call it done. I'm done with my lovely artwork. Now, it saved versions for us, and what we get is the version number, the date, the time that it was saved, and the Windows, or I think it works in Linux, I can't remember how I wrote it now, because this is fairly old. Um, oh, it works on Mac as well, I think. I made it platform independent, I believe. Um, and our comments. Now, the good thing about this is I can, uh, I've just been using save version. I, if I get a version, so if I just plant this up here and we'll say, well, what did what did I start with? Get the version. It will replace all um, elements in the scene and remove any auto save, but we'll say yes anyway. It means I can go back and I can go through the visual development of this thing and say, well, yeah, not bad. I can also track my own time, how long I spent on it. Um, I can even delete versions if I'm not happy with them, so I could say, well, let's have a look at that weird again. Now, I actually like weird, but I don't like the start, so we'll get rid of the start. So I've just deleted a version. Um, we'll get our latest again. But what I can do is I can either click on advanced or double click on one of these entries. Both do exactly the same thing, and that's bring up information regarding, yeah, I get this little thumbnail which is a preview and then I get the same information here because it just looked crap as just a little preview box. Other things that you get with this are name shading groups so for instance if I went into Hypershade and we'll create a Lambert 
and we'll go get a file texture and I will get a file texture from anywhere in fact that will do whatever that is and we'll plug the file texture into the color now let's just have a look at this file name it's am underscore n if I press name shading groups we see the names on these are Lambert file and I don't know place 2d texture and if we look up the stream we get this shading group as well so that's a shading engine shading group file texture placement node name SGs names them based on this name so it, this is now am um, underscore n underscore file texture am um, underscore n underscore Lambert which is what type of shader it is so I can see in the name it's you know the fact that it's Lambert underscore shading engine which is what it is uh, and then uh, Lambert 2 shading group I don't actually play with the name but I could if anybody has any requests this texture copy if we uh, if we look at the moment it's actually in source images so that's a bit crap so I'll choose one off my desktop uh, I also do photography and stuff so I'll grab that which is this lovely image of a girl called Sarah that I photographed uh, a fair while ago wow that looks interesting and then I'll just say name shading groups again now I get image 0019 underscore FT except this image file sits on my desktop <coughs> uh, whereas the next button says texture copy it says copy all, uh, it's asking me a question here, copy all textures to source uh, project and I just choose yes <coughs> then if we have a look in it's now copied it to my project directories uh, extra tools, hey, coming soon. Who knows what I'll put in there? Action save, oh, a system up. System up, uh, it will automatically update to the latest uh, um, version. It's actually in progress, and I have, I did do some tests and they were successful, but I haven't implemented it yet because uh, I had a few problems in, in something, can't remember what. Like I say, this was really a long time ago. Action save, <coughs> action save is really handy. If I enable uh, auto action save on something like, I don't know, 2, and I can see this on there, and then I start doing things with this, such as even, even simply let's just rotate it and ah, scale it, rotate it again, uh, have a look at it just as is. So let's close that and come out of it and yeah that looks cool but if I now open up my version control I see who auto save by TS version control I'm going to change this name TS by the way but if we have a look in here I'll just dump this here so we can see because it should update if I just do this it saves sna snapshots and files while we were going along doing just edits and things and that's this action save I can actually say you know don't action save it anymore I could set this to something more sensible. The default is 50, which is probably about, I don't know, 20 minutes. No, 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 yeah, 20 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, 10 minutes, depending on how fast you work. Of uh, Because it's based on physical actions that you do inside of, uh, inside of Maya. But yeah, uh, I can also add versions from here as well. I just enter any comment and go into my version control and I've just added a version through the menu uh, but yeah TS, uh, TS version control tools but I'm gonna rename it and I'll make the interface a little bit better and stylish that was just a really quick one um, but I'm gonna put this if you're not watching this video on my website I'm gonna put the tool on my website once I've just redone the graphics if anybody's interested uh, but yeah it can be really handy Alright, thanks. Bye.